butt. <laughs> <clears throat> what a what a time to be alive. Just blue in my cup. Well, I'm digging Cam's shirt. That is safe Buku Hitmonchan. That's incredible. The one punch mon himself. And but alright, looks like Cam is sticking to Diddy Kong a lot like Dapo. I think Dapo's sticking to Diddy Kong mainly because he's counting on buffs if he, you know, moans and groans enough about how low tier he is on Twitter. Duplicitously. <laughs> <laughs> he's that. definitely trying to cop, like. He's trying to get Sakurai's attention. Like, like Nintendo. Uh, Diddy's just not, doesn't work anymore. Yeah, how unfortunate. <laughs> Would be a shame if he got buffed, though. I love that Sakurai was watching the Invitational and, like, had to see what Bayonetta was actually like. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, all right, maybe we should, uh... Isn't it like his daughter, like, one of his kids plays Bayo, so he was like, wait. Hold oh, on. no. Oh, dear. I don't want my daughter to get booed on stage. <laughs> People hate this. You know, it's weird. He has always had that kind of relationship where he takes the characters that are most personal to his heart and makes them terrible. Yeah, like yeah, Ganondorf. He, I mean, you think about it, like... Kirby in 64 was like so good. Like Kirby's top two in that game. Right, exactly. Yeah. And because then of that you look ridiculous at, up tilt. Then you look at Kirby in Melee and you just think, who hurt you, Sakurai? And every game thereafter. Who hurt you? <laughs> Everyone you know, who made him keep churning out Kirby games. <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> it's his spite given form. He's like, this you. was fun once. <laughs> That's literally his thing, is he hates yeah. making sequels. So just stop playing Kirby in Smash. Just play Kirby and Kirby. Did you know that Sakurai's favorite Pokemon is marked and recorded as Jigglypuff? Really? really? And he said, I'm going to make her terrible so people root for her. <laughs> <laughs> but alright, first stock taken cleanly from Oryx. Dude, Oryx is a nasty man, I'll be real honest. Yeah. Normally, his spacing is so good. Oryx That's the thing I look out for. Oryx is already winning tournaments with Peach. Oh, and yeah. then Peach got buffed. <laughs> and that back air became her only needed move. Yeah, back air is a really oppressive tool, forward air is a really oppressive tool. Yeah. All of her aerial is really on shield, it's still her turn. Frankly, if you have that kind of bear, all you need is your derriere. Oh my god. I mean, it comes out fast, it kills, you can do it in combination with the float, it's ridiculous. See the banana combos coming through. Bananas. Ooh, alright. Oh! oh crash! I love into that the that stage. has a utility now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it functions. It makes Diddy Kong fun to watch. Not opinion. just fashionable. The yeah. wackest thing to me is that, like, apparently you can posthumously control the barrels? Yes. Only to the, right. <laughs> Only to the right. Only to the right. Only to the right. He can't turn left. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's exactly correct. I did not know that. <laughs> it's like an inverse NASCAR driver. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn left eventually. But One of these <laughs> days, the track will invert. Peanut like like brain a... can't turn from can't turn <laughs> left. Can't do it. <laughs> Could never be a NASCAR driver. Monkey. <laughs> but I can drive barrels. <laughs> oh! Don't need a license for a jetpack. Not on not on Kong Island. <laughs> you don't need a oh? license. For oh, it's happening. All right. Barely barely just, out of that. Yeah, just not far enough. The DI was nice. It's one thing to be in the lab. It's another thing to be in the heat of the moment. Dude, Peach okay. combos look so silky, honestly. Like, her down tilt being an unteckable now just opened up her combo tree Wild. for Peach everybody. Combos, when you get hit by them, you don't even feel that bad compared to some other combos in this game because she hit you like 12 times, but it all took like two seconds. Whoa. Oh. She strings oh. you along, hits you like 12 times, and she just snap, snap, snap. All right, <laughs> I'm off stage. I took 50, but it's cool. Being strong. I along. can play again. And then right, you have on. to deal with that victory animation. Yeah. The O did I win is possibly yes. the most painful thing known to mankind. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> you know exactly what you did. <laughs> but all right, Ordex taking that convincingly two stocks remaining. I think the forward air is his best kill option until he reaches like the 120 range and then back air starts coming out. Yeah. Because if you don't need to dedicate yourself to a lengthy, laggy option like forward right. air anymore, then why bother? May all as right. well just stick out the back air. I think we're going to Wily's Castle Battlefield. Stick it out. Show him what kind of cake you got. Or is this Wily's Castle FD? FD. Why this castle? Up? God, this stage is so beautiful. It really is. A little homage to when this was our uh, Omega back in Smash 4 oh, yeah. at the walled stage. Not to mention, like, it goes perfectly in combination with the wondrous soundtrack. Oh my god. Mega Man has some of the best music. And, like, I think the strongest thing about this game sometimes, more than the gameplay sometimes, I'm just the music. It's I remember playing Mega Man game. Over like a, a thousand one. tracks, and we hear, like, six of them. Yep. That's all we need. At least we got more than Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Could be worse. There have been a few Mega Man games that just didn't have good soundtracks, and I said, this is the soul. You gave me a husk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sad. So you can have all the fun of a pretty decent wow, Mega Man game. Wow, I can't even turn it. Money music. All right. Can you the monkey flip? 
Diddy Kong holding banana with monkey flip is like the most intimidating thing. I don't know how to approach I feel that. like, honestly, I want to see less banana in this matchup because I want to see Cam have more access to forward air to contest float. It's a good point, but he's looking for kill options right now because yeah. he is a That's kill fair. Person. That's fair. I do like how he's just playing the projectile game a little bit more. Oh, there he is. Nice. Bear can kill at the ledge. He did set up for it with the banana, but I feel like it's not something that he needs as much as it's something that he's relying on. You yeah. said call him A, I said call him B, and he said both. Oh, oh and the oh, RTL okay. Get out of there, champ. Maneuvered his way right out of that perilous situation. I'm terrified. No, thank you. I'm still terrified. Okay, so how, uh, you know, coming in here as an ignorant, like, didn't do something. Are you about to ask what the RNG chances are? No, no, no. I'm asking, like, how effective is glide tossing and is it still a mechanic? Uh, not for Peach. Just not a thing. What about uh, for Diddy? Not much, basically. The only... Glide tossing isn't really a real thing in Smash 4, at least. Ooh, uh, unless you're Mega Man, in which case you have Super Glide Toss, and you basically Samus Super Wave Dash across the stage with your uh, with your Mega Metal Blade. Pretty tremendous. That's Ooh. hot. Yeah. Ooh, and so is that back air. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think Glide Tossing is one of the coolest like mechanics that Brawl ever had. Yeah. And it had that in Smash 4, too. Yeah, in Smash 4, it was basically, you had to toss <laughs> your item up. You couldn't go with it. Uh, How much percent was that? <laughs> Yo! That's, that's no jump. Who all right yeah, he just keeps it going. Roll. That was an incredibly long string. <laughs> all right. Cam's trying to get some answers. That was in, the but... whole spool of string. There we go. Forward air boxes out. Oh. Yeah, okay. let's take some time. Get the banana. Oh, not Isn't quite. He's got it in hand still. Oh, and the turnip didn't even bother. Yeah, once it hits the wall, thankfully there it's go. not active anymore. Oh, that's really good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Banana out of shield as potent as it ever was. Do you think peanut popcorn has a little more utility than the last game? I feel like it does. Ooh, and so does that side B. Okay, so for area control, like, you can't really use the banana as much because it sort of fades out a little bit quicker, right? Yeah. Like, you can't just set it down and have it as, yeah. like, a pretty present thing for a few seconds. But it does ledge trap still. Okay. See, because I was like, you could just sit behind the banana for a little bit and, like, shoot the gun. Like, he's not taking these little moments that I think would really benefit him. Right, he's pulling the banana, but he's being proactive with it, which Ooh. I feel like is not what you want to do with banana. You want to sit, wait for your moment, punish with banana, and then get your confirm. I think he started to uh, move in the right direction. Absolutely. Yeah. He's Especially. definitely brought this game much closer. It's uh, last stocks. This adaptation. Oh, great use. Monkey flip kick is another great way to deal with an opponent floating very low to the ground. Securing a sustainable lead now, this adaptation. And re-grabs the banana with that forward air. Dude, his combos are stepping up too. Like, all of this is looking pretty nice, but Oryx getting an open and getting the positioning. Ooh, and he just goes for yeah, it. Yeah, he tried it. That might have actually, I don't know how powerful it is, but it feels like it's pretty chunky. It's extremely yeah. powerful. I feel like he also didn't have a jump, and maybe it was the desperate, I need to fight back on stage right now. It's a good mix up. Yeah. Even if you get me back off, I'll refresh by oh. touching the ground. Because everyone's a little bit afraid of the rocket. Oh, no. Why? He's trying. He DI'd straight in there to get hit by the up air. As, uh, oh, oh, down to the wire. And the throw. back throw. Not quite. Dude, he almost yossed him off the whole stage. Yeah, Cam just giving him Wait all the space. Moment. He's playing in the corner so much, too. Like, he'll, it seems like he very rarely holds center. He's given so much respect to Oryx right now. This matchup has been nothing short of a food fight. Yeah. It's just banana versus turnip. Oh, and he just goes for it, but a grab is not the optimal punish there. No, I wonder if Orcs could maybe have up smashed out a shield there. Possibly, but if it missed, then he would be dead. Absolutely. So he just put himself into an advantageous position instead of risking the Oh! And the neutral air off of the neutral getup. How fitting. So close. I think a lot of it came down to being more proactive with the banana than he needed to. Especially in those last moments, if I have my banana in hand and you're at kill percent, <laughs> all I have to do is wait for you to whip one thing, hit my shield one time, and you're done. Yeah.